Hi, welcome back. Here is another quick tip to create an amazing look. We will start with this image and eventually with a couple of simple adjustments, this will be the end result. Pretty amazing, right? Here we go. I will duplicate the layer and you probably know the trick of applying a soft light on a copy to get a more contrasty image. This method creates a similar effect but with a sharpening twist. So I will keep the blend mode to normal, but will apply a high pass filter. Choose a pixel value where you can see the details showing up. Great, almost done. Two more steps to finish today's tip. First, change the blend mode of the high pass to vivid light. This will sharpen the image. The second step is to change the blend mode of the duplicate itself to overlay. There you go. This looks gorgeous. Look at the colors and the contrast, especially the colors in the sky and the clouds. If we want, we can apply a mask so the effect only applies to the sky. Because we have used live filters, we can change the strength of the effect by adjusting the high pass value. Here are some bonus tips for you. We can add a curves layer to control the lightness or the darkness of the sky. And my favorite is to change the red color channel to give it a bit more dramatic and warmer look. If you think the effect is too much, you can always adjust the opacity of the layer. Because we have some more warm colors in the center area of the sky, I want to bring that also back to the sun itself. A simple way of doing this is adding a circle, filling it with an elliptical gradient from black to white. Put the blend mode of it to screen and position it so it is centered on the sun. Excellent. Next is to add a huge Gaussian blur from the effects panel. We're almost there. We just need to give it different color. The best way to do that is of course using a recolor adjustment. Let me add that and choose a color that fits with the image. To make the shine blend better, I will also modify the blend range so it only applies to the lighter areas. Wonderful, now, because we used all warm colors in the sky, we need to make the whole image warmer so the sky fits with the complete picture. Just a simple white balance adjustment will work. Pretty awesome. As a final step, to guide the viewer to the sun, let me quickly add a vignette. By using a rectangle with a gradient fill. There are many ways of adding vignettes. You can also check my vignette tutorial for more details. What is nice about creating your own vignette is that you can play with the blend mode. For example, in this image, I will use the vivid light blend mode. I'm switching here between the multiply and the vivid light mode so you can see the difference. The vivid light version is a bit more contrasty, which in my personal opinion fits this image better. To finish up, let me lower the opacity of the vignette. There we have it. Thanks again for watching. With all these bonus tips, the video became a bit longer than I expected, but I hope you liked it. Until next time.